Россия will finally be home. It's not bad. That's good. Thanks for doing everything. My mom wrote to Evan, how did you feel about the... I got to hug the front of my body. Oh, blood. Oh! Evan, what you can ask to stay in the Russia in the prison? Tell me, please. Yeah, right. Don't say anything. Evan, what can you ask, please, to stay in the Russia now in the prison? What you can ask? No, I think we shouldn't forget about them. This, this, this one thing I'd like to say. Uh, it, was, it was great to get on that bus today and see a lot of, you know, not just Americans and Germans, but Russians and prisoners. But uh, I just spent a month in prison in the Academy for whatever it was, a whole, you know, basically everybody I sat with was in prison. And nobody, nobody, no, nobody knows them publicly. Uh, they have, you know, various political beliefs, so they're not all Navalny uh, supporters, which is, you know, everybody knows about that. Uh, it, today was a really touching moment to see all of them, but I think it would be, you know, I think we could see if we could potentially do something about them as well. I'd like to you know, talk, you know, talk to people about that in the next no, really. weeks and months. Anyway, it's good to see you. Welcome home. how are you feeling? I'm all right. It was a good flight. <laughs> what about the shelf support? It's, it's... Evan, it's Evan! The general's over here! Yeah, it's overwhelming. It's, it's... The general's over here! I gotta see. Evan! 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 satisfaction and a feeling of relief for the family. Did, did you think that this moment would come, sir? Yes. What made you feel so confident? Our relationship with the heads of state that I had to get to agree on. Tell us what you said. How did it come there? What, what did you have to say to the three Americans, sir? Pardon me? What did you have to say to the three Americans and their family members, sir? Welcome home and beyond that. You said, sir, that family is everything earlier today. What has it meant all day today as they are now finally reunited with their loved ones. You can appreciate, look, anyone who's lost family or worried about whether family would come home, whatever the circumstance was, has to understand the extreme, and you've heard me say it before, my dad used to say family is the beginning, the middle, and the end. And it really is. It's about who we are. It's about who we are as a country. What is your message tonight to Vladimir Putin? Stop. Learn you going home. Um, well, there was a process, and as as the process unfolded, I realized that a uh, tree was on Saturday morning. Yeah, I went to Moscow to look at it. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Your parents, yeah. Hours before you announced that you were going to be uh, leaving the 2024 race, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, how important it was for you to get this deal done, uh, knowing that you were not going to seek a second term? Was it very important? I still get it done even if I was seeking a second term. Um, the news was good, but I, I waited until we had crossed the border into England before I saw it. So I'm a British citizen. So once we were in England, then Ireland, and then we crossed Canada into America, and started to celebrate. What's the next for you? What are you gonna do? What's the first thing you're gonna do? Probably eat a steak. <laughs> I'm going to Texas. So. How are you, how are you this will now be cemented as a part of your one-term uh, legacy. How are you thinking about the rest of your time in office? How are you? Oh, we can talk about that another. This person wants to be Chancellor Schultz's commitment to 
to getting this deal across the finish line? Could it have been possible without that agreement that no. he made?